Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, we are on Alpha 19 Experimental Build 157. We play this game on insane difficulty with the zombies all set to nightmare speed. Okay, so let's see. I have done quite a bit of work off camera um, building, getting our horde base upgraded, mining, digging clay, doing all that good stuff. Uh, we've gone up a few levels uh, since I was with you the last two. And I put those into things like salvage operations. We did one point in sexual Tyrannosaurus. And um, what else? I think I put a point into Machine Gunner uh, since I was with you last. So we are now uh, level 17. And our game stage is level 33. So that's pretty much where we're at um, so far. So we should have a pretty good showing uh, for Horde Night 14. I went ahead and actually got started working on this a little sooner than, you know, the morning of day 13, which is what I had originally planned on. So I've been actually working pretty much all the way through day 12 uh, through the night, and now we're into day 13. But we're pretty much done with what we need to do. There's a couple more things we need to do, but we're getting really close, and that means then we can spend the rest of the time going to do some quests and some other things. Um, I should probably work on trying to get a little bit more gunpowder, uh, too. And, uh, need to start thinking about arranging some cars for gasoline. But again, that's all stuff I'll do off camera. So let's just finish this last row of clay here. And then we'll go up to the base. Um, <clears throat> I'm getting this primarily for the forge, because we've been running the forge almost nonstop. We got our first screamer, too, and I, I managed to take her out with the AK before she could scream, which was good. But uh, the plan for today is to go ahead and do this next tier one quest, and hopefully that'll be the last one. I also want to run over to that uh, mill, I think it was, and grab the cement out of there. In fact, why don't we do that now? Then we'll come back, we'll get that stuff going, and then I'll show you what I've done with the base before we go do the quest. So let's just run around a corner here, grab the mini bike, and we'll head over and get that stuff out of the uh, the mill. I cut every other tree down in my little tree farm here and left the ones that are currently there in place for now because we got plenty of wood. So we got that done. So far everything is going pretty well. So Buddy's Grain. Yeah, there is a bunch of cement in here. Um, I'm not actually super familiar with this POI. So we're probably going to get get a little bit of resistance here. Oh, I took a point in uh, in uh, Boomstick, too. So let's look at that real quick. So, yeah, we've got a point in Boomstick. We have a point in Sexual Tyrannosaurus. I uh, put a point in Mother Load and a point in Machine Gunner. And I think that's all I did uh, off camera in terms of our points. Okay, so let's take a peeksee in here. Uh, make sure everybody's loaded up. I've made more ammo, so I got almost a full stack now of shoddy shells, um, almost a full stack of nines, and, you know, we're still going to keep the 7.62s for um, oh shit moments at this point. We're not going to be just shooting them up left and right. Uh, but we can pretty much... Oh, oh shit, that's good. We can pretty much um, go to town with the shotgun now. Oh, Lord. <laughs> that made the hair on the back of my neck stand up. All right, um... Man, I love that fall down mechanic. Okay. That actually has worked in our favor more than once. Phew. Okay. I have done this POI before, but it's just been been a while. I'm not super familiar with it. It's basically like a big parkour thing where you have to get up to the top and all that sort of thing. And you got all the construction workers trying to eat you in the process. But man, look at the cement in here. This is fantastic. Um... I've been using my stone shovel, and I put an ergonomic mod on it. It's almost as good as the iron shovel in terms of how, you know, breaking blocks and that sort of thing. But it just doesn't hardly use any stamina, whereas the iron shovel, you know, kills my stamina. Even with, you know, that first point in sexy T. So, you know, this is actually a better shovel overall, so that's why I'm using it instead of the iron shovel that we made. Plus, it's got two more slots, so if we find... You know more mods uh you know that would work with it we can put those on too i just made the one ergonomic mod because it requires steel and i have a very small supply of that at the moment 
So what I, I'm doing is if I switch over and use my pick to mine stuff, I'll just switch the mod over to that too. It gives us a 10% uh, stamina boost and also is, is supposed to improve our archery too. Anyway, um, I'll go ahead and finish uh, harvesting all this cement and uh, bring that back to the base. And then when we're ready to go do what is hopefully our final tier one quest, then we can get into tier two. Uh, I'll bring you guys back at that point. All right, guys, I actually was going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me, show you what I've done on the base before we uh, go off and do the quest. So, yeah, basically, as you can see, I now have this little corridor covered. And uh, I'm going to I'm gonna continue to leave these two wood frames down here for Horde 14 just to see how things go. So that way I still have the option of pulling those up if, um, you know, things don't go so well for us. Uh, but basically, we have... Um, this setup here so i've upgraded everything to reinforce concrete as you can see and uh, so they'll come in through here and uh, you know then the theory is they get hung up on this little uh hatch here and i can just sit there and, and shoot them in the head and they'll eventually probably break this and then move to the next one but we have three hatches in place so we can <clears throat> you know uh, sh hit them in the head quite a few times and hopefully you know kill a good portion of them before they get over to where you know we are there now once they get over to where we are you know then we can start using melee and we just have to watch the two you know bars there and make sure that they um you know don't uh, don't break and i i've doubled those those bars up there too it's kind of hard to see from here the reason why i did it this way too is just to conserve uh, blocks as opposed to just closing it in. So there's this little, you know, the little openings on both sides don't serve any purpose other than, um, <clears throat> you know, <coughs> excuse me, I didn't, uh, I don't have a ton of resources, so I just wanted to, you know, do this as economically as possible. Okay, and so, yeah, that's pretty much what's going to happen on Horde Night uh, 14. I did a little bit more upgrading in here too, but they didn't seem to really use this pit uh, on day seven, so I'm not expecting that they will on day 14 either. I did put a hatch up there, and I removed that other little backdrop just so I, you know, have a little more, a little bit more room to move around up there. Upgraded all of these columns uh, to reinforce concrete as well because their AI could see this as potentially something they could take down, and so you know I wanted to get that upgraded. Let's uh, likewise um, get this corner upgraded and reinforced. I'm not planning on upgrading all of this to reinforced, uh, at least not for Horde 14. And then we have a couple more things up top that we need to get upgraded as well. I would like to have a little bit more ammunition. I'm planning on using the pistol mostly on uh, Horde Knight for, for the gun and then the bow after that and we'll also make some pipe bombs too so when they do get close we can blow them up like we did before we can make grenades so i don't know we'll see how the resources go grenades are a little bit more expensive to make so let's get uh, all this upgraded too the reason i'm going this high is because it is potentially possible for spiders maybe to get up on top of there and i <clears throat> and of course if a spider gets up there they still could probably climb over uh to get us but you know just making sure that they, they, they can't hop up there and then just jump right on top of our head. And that's why those last two blocks extend even further out there so they can't pile up and then jump up on this side and come over this way. So really, there should be no way for them to get over to us. But just in case that does happen, that's why I've got, you know, quite a pretty good sized uh, wall here. So let's get these upgraded. Oh, wouldn't you know it? <laughs> wouldn't you know it? All right. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I think we're ready for Horde Night 14. The, the, one, the one downside to this design, though, is there's no buzzard protection. So if we get buzzards on 14, which we might, we're going to have to just, you know, contend with them. What I could potentially do, and probably will do, is just put, if nothing else, you know, maybe some wood frames. And, you know, the buzzards can, can and will now attack the frames, but at least that would buy us a couple of moments to, you know, to try and fight them. So they're not just swooping down right on our head without any warning whatsoever. Uh, the other thing we could potentially do is put wood bars up instead. And um, I have started upgrading these to iron, but I ran out of iron ingots. So, you know, resources are, are slim. They're not, 
you know, I'm not completely out, but I'm just trying to be as frugal as possible with these resources. So yeah, I'll think about that. Maybe maybe we'll put some frames or maybe even build ourselves just like a little small uh, wood bar cage for day 14. And then, you know, if a buzzer does attack, then we shoot them before they have a chance to actually break the bars. I probably will do that because, again, I just don't want to be exposed to them. All right, guys, I think that's it for the base upgrades. Now, we basically have all the rest of day 13 and all of day 14 to go and do other stuff because we are pretty much ready for the horde, at least as far as the base goes. Uh, like I said, I am going to need to get a little bit more. I want to get a little bit more ammunition going. Um, we need to mine a little bit more lead and some more gunpowder. Uh, well, we have a decent supply of gunpowder, actually. Uh, we should probably, yeah, convert those into 9 mils right now. Because, like I said, the pistol is going to be our main Horde Knight weapon, so I want to have, you know, lots of 9 mil ammo. That in the bow. Shotgun if, you know, they, they get close to us. Oh, we got another airdrop. Let's see where that sucker is. Uh, go out this way. I love that, you know, the drops are so easy for us to find now. Yep, there it is over that way. Um, okay, so I'm guesstimating that it is... Where are we facing? Kind of this direct, this way. It seems like it's quite a ways out there. Let's let's just maybe mark the... Um, base of this hill, but it could even be over the hill. But as long as we're going in that direction, we should be able to eventually see it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, all right. Let's put the hammer away. I'm not going to take that with us to do our quest. And we just also don't need those building materials. We could use this gunpowder to make some more pipe bombs. Um, yeah. Why don't we do that? Why don't we do that? Wait, can we make pipe bombs? Oh, no, we can't. All right, that means we're either going to have to take the first perk in, um, you know, the explosion perk to do that, which would also then make our explosions, you know, more powerful too. Or we'll have to come across this schematic. All right, well, I'll worry about that later. I will worry about that later. Let's just put this stuff back where it's supposed to go. We got to come across some bear extract or some testosterone extract too so we can make that cigar. Um, all right. I think we're ready. We got one bandage. We got one pill. We got some sewing kits. I'm bringing the axe with me and not all the other tools just to save, you know, that inventory spot. We can also make uh, the cargo stuff, too. That's just another thing I might work on offline. But we need a bunch of mechanical parts and other things like that to, to make those. So, okay, guys, let's do this. How about if... The tier one fetches in the north of town there. Let's go find this drop first, and then we'll circle around and, and do the, the fetch quest. All right, guys. That uh, that one eluded me. I could not find it. I went uh, quite a ways beyond, you know, where I kind of guessed that it would be, all the way over here and then kind of back around, and never saw the smoke. So, yeah, uh, I'm kind of surprised, you know, because you can see that smoke from a long ways away, but it just... I didn't see it, so... Anyway, whatever. We'll have to count that one up for a loss. Uh, by the way, this is the new electronics store. And um, I want to go in there, too, uh, whether we do it, you know, as a quest or just do it randomly and check that place out. So we won't do that, of course, in this episode, but maybe the next episode. We'll just see how things go. Um, there is... It's really, really easy to cheese the loot out of this place. Let's just check that out really quick. Um, before we get over there. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I can't believe I, did, I couldn't find that. You, you'd think, you know, you can see that smoke from a really long ways away, but there was nothing. Uh, the terrain was pretty rugged, so it's possible that it was behind something, but I don't think so. Uh, it could have maybe gone down in here, and I just, you know, miss, missed it. But uh, anyway, maybe we'll come across it someday. We'll see. There we go. Look at that. Oh, man. Dang, son. That's some good stuff. Including purple scrap armor. It's better and it's got more mod slots. Uh, so let's switch out uh, those two things. These we probably will go ahead and fix up and save. We got a burning shaft mod 
and a freaking weighted head mod. Oh man, that's gonna make our sledgehammer awesome. So let's put the weighted head mod and the burning shaft mod on there. Really nice upgrades. Plus we got some more ammo too. Um, advanced muffle connectors mod. Yeah, let's go ahead and put that on. Uh, wait, what am I doing? Go here, go here, and here we are. Let's just put those on the boots for now. I'm going to really start working on getting those cargo, uh, triple storage cargo mod thingamadoodles made up too. But yeah, that was definitely worth the price of admission. Now, I think there's another working stiff's crate or something like that um, right there. And what is... What's this? Oh, medical supplies. Okay. Nice. Yeah, you can you can cheese this loot. You don't even have to go up there. If you do go up there, there is a sleeper that'll spawn. But if you stay down here, generally speaking... Oh, wow. Look at that. You know, it's funny. You... In, in earlier versions of this game, you almost never found high-level stone tools. I mean, because who wants to use them, right? But I'll tell you what, this, this uh, like I was telling you guys earlier, this stone shovel is overall better than the iron shovel. And now we got a purple one, which is going to be even better. I've also mentioned this before, too, in the new series here. But I really like the fact that when you find a higher level, it is, in fact, better than its lower level counterpart. So cool, we got four mod slots for that. And yeah, we don't need this uh, blue hammer anymore either, so let's just scrap a doodle that, and now we have ourselves a purple hammer. Hammer. Excellent. Um, yeah, we can scrap a doodle the shovel, and we'll just use the stone uh, to repair both of these items. And where's our sledge? Right here. Let's repair that as well. And yeah, all of our stone tools are now repaired. Okay, yeah, that was definitely worth stopping and doing. All right, here we are. So this is a fetch quest. I can't say as I'm familiar with this place. Does this work? It does not. Another purple shovel. Which one's better? They are exactly the same. 14, 26, 57. Now, this one has better power attack damage. It's, it's, wait a minute. How come that's not showing as better? It says it doesn't include the mod, but let's just pull it off for a second. Okay, this is our normal shovel. This is the one we just found. Okay, so I think what it's saying is whatever shows up in parentheses is not taking the mod into account, but the green uh, values show how the mod is improving the weapon. I like that, actually. That's really cool. But we have no reason to have a second purple shovel, so let's just scrap that. Um, I think I'm going to take this workbench apart first, too, because you get pretty good stuff from taking a workbench apart. So we'll do that, but I'm not going to try and double loot the place because I don't even know where the end loot is anyway. We'll just do it uh, normal. Anything else in here? Doesn't look like it. All right, lock and load. Tier 1 fetch. Let's check the workbench again. Okay. Okay. Pretty nice. We get double double salvage the workbench. We got 24 iron uh, ingots out of that, among other things. Let's put a couple things in here, too. Uh, this extra armor, I'll put in there. The uh, stone, all of this stuff, because we don't need to take that with us into the actual house itself. In fact, for that matter, we don't really need the shovel in there, either. Okay, cool. Is there going to be a dog back here? There is. We're going to blast him with our shoddy. Yeah, I don't know if this is new uh, to, with Alpha 19 or not, but I, I do not recognize this POI.
All right, let's take advantage of this. Did he just fall down? Hey, no, come back here. Where the hell is he going? That made me nervous. Is he coming through here? Oh, you know what? Screw that guy. We're just going to go after him. Whoopsie. We got an abrasion, which sucks. Okay, let's take a... Why can't I use this at this time? You cannot use that at this time. Why not? That doesn't make sense. Oh, shit. All right, well, let's take this then. Huh, I wonder why it doesn't let me use this. Oh, I guess because a, a normal bandage does not give you any abrasion healing speed. Okay. And we're not bleeding. That's probably why. All right, we need to be just a little bit more careful. <laughs> just a little bit more careful. Make sure everybody's loaded here. You know what I'm going to do, too? Let's switch these around, because these are the two weapons that I'm going to use the most. Okay. I don't want anything jumping on our head here. There's some cobble. Shit. <laughs> My fingers aren't used to the new location for everything. All right, this is getting dangerous, man. We gotta be, we gotta freaking be careful here. This is actually the really bad because, I mean, we stuff could drop down on our head. We have no more medical uh, healing stuff either. Shit. What the hell, man? All right, you know what we're going to do? We got... We got that guy out there. Let's deal with him so he doesn't sneak up on us later. Well, that didn't work so well. I don't want to get so close to him that he can tag us through the fence. I don't even think I hit him. I think he he ducked like each time I pulled the trigger. That time we hit him. Okay, so we got him out of the way. Now we got one over here. Okay. Let's try this again. Sounds like we got all the active ones cleared out for now. 
I'll come back here when we're done later off camera and get all this cobble and that wood. That's that's a pretty decent supply of that stuff. Uh, yeah, let's take those right now. I still don't have a helmet light, so sorry if it's a bit dark, guys. When I'm editing this later, if I, if I feel like it's a little too dark, I'll add some gamma to it. Uh, let's go here. I really like the way they've handled the lighting in Alpha 19. Oh, wow, look at that. That is a nice find. So nice, in fact. Let's go ahead and use those on our pistol. I think we're probably okay for a little bit longer on the, our, our other weapons, but wow, good find. Um, anyway, yeah, I like what they've done with the lighting. I mean, you can be out at night and do stuff and it's, you know, it still, it still has the immersion. It feels like night, but it's, it's not so dark that you can't see a damn thing either. Uh, but in some places you still need, you know, generally want to have a torch so you can see what's going on. So I, I think it's a pretty decent balance. Oh, look at that. A brass faucet. We are going to grab that for sure. Oh, yeah. Fish tacos. Nice. I think I have a thing of salmon back at the base, too. And coffee. Beautiful. Okay, now that we're on this next floor, we should be able to start blocking uh, stuff a little bit as needed. There's probably going to be a Zeke in there. Come on, give me a bandage. Oh, I'll take that too. <laughs> I will take that too. Oh, did the Zeker already break out of there? Kind of looks that way, doesn't it? Or not. Remember, we have still have pretty low gun skill at this point, so... It takes a lot of bullets. Plus, we are playing on Insane. Two, on top of that. Okay, another leather duster. <laughs> Excuse me. Kasun tight. Did I miss something over here? We hit the toilet, right? Yeah. Okay. Don't forget to reload. Oh, we already came this way. Suit pants. I don't believe we need those, but we'll take them. Are they worth anything? Nope. They used to be worth a lot of money in Alpha 16, <laughs> but they fixed that. It was like a ridiculous amount of money. You could sell those. Uh, wait, actually, it was either the pants or the coat. I can't remember. Maybe it was the coat. All right, I guess... Where do we go from here? Oh, there's a ladder right here. You know what? I'm getting the AKs out because we are we can't afford to get hit anymore because we have no more bandages or pills. Okay, there's the satchel right there. 
Alrighty. There's a box up there. Hidden stash. Oh, all right. What do we got here? Increase attack speed by 10% for spear thrusts. Learn how to craft double pocket mods. Oh, so they must have changed the name of these because they used to be called cargo storage. Now it's called double. Very nice. I'm glad we found that. That's going to come in handy. I've, in fact, between this and making the triples, we might be able to get all of our uh, slots uncovered. Beautiful. Super useful stuff. I kind of like the new mechanic where you can't find all the good shit right off the bat. You know, it it makes the the stuff that you you know that's appropriate for your level more useful, and you you know you kind of appreciate finding them more. You know, uh, so I'm digging that. I'm digging that. All right, so let's go this way. I'm going to block that for the moment. <coughs> That's not going to fall, is it? Okay. We haven't found the in loot yet. You just know there's going to be somebody up there. We never got that covered. Oh, look. Take that right now. There's the fat loots. And where's the zombo that's going to jump out and scare the shit out of us? Oh, maybe, maybe we already aggroed him. Well, here, let's get ready just in case we didn't. Ah, there you are, you sneaky son of a... All right. There you go. We got it. Ammo. Very nice. Come on, give me a bandage. Nope, I will take those. And, uh, looks like we've got a... Working stiffs. Okay. Are these worth anything? No, they're not. We'll take those. We don't really need those because, well, we don't need them. Okay. And now for the good stuff. Boom. Okay, we've got some iron boots and all of this stuff. Are these... These are one point better than our current scrap -a doodle boots that we have. And yeah, those are those only have one slot. So we will switch over to these. Might as well repair them too since we got all those repair kits. Man, that was a nice find. Okay, modify, put those on and wear. Okay, these will probably go ahead and fix up and sell. Scrap those, and I think we're good to go. I think we're good to go. All right, guys. Well, that is it for uh, this little POI in this episode. Um, I'm going to probably harvest, like I said, all that cobblestone down below and get that going uh, because that's some pretty decent resources. And um, then I will meet you at the trader. What time is it? Oh, shit, it's late. Oh, man. Okay, we got to go. Wow, I didn't think you had it in you. Good job. Okay, Magnum Enforcer Volume 1, do 10% more damage with 44 guns. I mean, you know, that's going to be super useful when we when we eventually get the Desert Vulture. But man, 120 shotgun shells. <laughs> oh boy, that's a, that's a nice little pile of ammo, but it's, a, it's ammo we can also make. Mm, that's that's tempting guys that's really tempting I tell you what let's take this I know this is more valuable but you know I eventually want to try out the desert vulture and 
you know, will already automatically do 10% more damage when the time comes. It could be a very long time before we come across this magazine again, or I could take it and then we'll find it in the next, you know, bookcase. <laughs> you just never know. Oh, geez, this is this is a really nice pile of ammo, though. It certainly is. Oh, man. Yeah, let's take this. Let's take this. Really? We're still not done with Tier 2? Oh, does is it is it a situation where we everything we do from her is tier one until she sends us to the next trader? Because I would have thought for sure by now we would have been tier two. All right, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take this buried supplies because now that I have the mini bike, we can get away from the Zekers. Always looking for easily. If you finish two more jobs this week, I will give you employee of the month. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, all right, I'm gonna do the uh, that buried treasure and see if that gets us to tier two, but maybe it's changed. Maybe we have to do all tier ones until we get the 10 quests under our belt. And then at that point, oh shit, I'm supposed to sell this stuff. At that point, she, uh, you know, sends us on and we, uh, we upgrade from there. Okay, so let's repair that, that, and this. Let's use that. All right, so that gets us 945 coin. Plus, I've got some coin back at the base, too. Um, you have restocked, I think, since the last time we checked you out. You've got hunting rifles. Urban volume deal. Team summer damage when indoors. Okay. Oh, mining helmet. Oh, geez, that's kind of expensive for us, though. Does she have a mining helmet mod? That would be potentially worth taking I don't I can't remember how much coin we have back at the base but uh yeah that's that's super tempting okay let's keep that in mind she's got an, an orange AK but I don't think we need that what else do you have gin another beaker some forged steel some nine mil ammo Another steel tool schematic. Ooh, look at that. Steel sledgehammer. Wow, that would be nice. Very expensive for us, though. Okay. All right. I might come back and buy that steel uh, tools schematic from her uh, if I have enough coin. Um, so I'll All think about then. that. All right, guys. Stay safe out there. That is it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video. And in the next episode, we will do something. I don't know what it is yet, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> okay. Catch you next time. Bye.